So having agreed to come and talk to you, there are three questions that I'm frequently being asked in my uh, travels, and I do travel quite a lot globally. Um, I often get the question, what is DEC 2020? The question most asked is, why on earth has Etsy submitted DEC 2020 to the ITU process? Well, I think both of those two questions I can answer, and answer quite, quite robustly. The one I struggle with is the third question that says, what is the target audience for DEC 2020, and how is it intended to be used? Well, whether we like it or not, we live in a standardised world, that's for sure. In nearly all aspects of society, we live in a standardised world, even more so in ICT and in telecoms. And there are all sorts of benefits from having standards. I mean, this is all very high-level stuff, but you know, if you have a standard, you have an identity, you have something you can all uh, associate yourself with. Um, this is great for promoting what it is you're trying to do, promoting the products and the services that you're trying to offer. You build some sort of ecosystem around the standard itself. In terms of industry, what we're hoping to do by this approach, of course, is to enlarge our potential market. By having a standardised approach, we have an uh, easier way to develop our products, we have fairer competition, but more importantly, we create this larger market. And when I look at uh, standards like DECT, um, market size is important, you know, it, it's, it, it's not a standard that is ubiquitously used worldwide. Uh, it's, an, it's a very good standard deck, it's been successful in Europe, but it's still rather a small ecosystem. So market size is hugely important. Whatever we can do to increase that market size has to be something which would, which would be good for everyone and for, for DEC in particular. And we need to move towards um, the ability of having open source solutions coming out of our stable. So that if you write a standard, say DEC 2020, should you have open source solutions for that so that the code can be shared, which would help then small companies get to market quicker? My contention is that's something we really need to think about. Why not? Everyone else is doing it, why shouldn't we? You know, try and speed up the gap between standards being published and new in small innovative companies getting to market and pushing their product out there. So I've said that it all starts here, it's all about the members doing business, coming up with great ideas and trying to standardise them and you know I think DECT is very much in this big wheel here, it's a group of people that have got great ideas, an idea of a business plan, how they're going to sell their product and put it to market. Only you can do that. The Secretariat can't do that for you. The staff can't do that for you. We can provide all the support things like the tools. We can provide operational support, secretaries to your meetings, that sort of thing. We can make sure that we have the right rules in place, that we have EU policies supporting us. We can use our communications machine up here to try and help you tell the world about your great ideas. But this, it all happens here and, you know, if the engineering Nous is not in here with the people from the entire ecosystem here saying this is what we want out of DEC 2020 then I think it's going to become much harder for you to, to move forward. One thing I think we can do to help is to make sure that the bosses in our companies have a better understanding of what's going on in the standardisation arena. Now that means going to the upper echelons of companies and explaining to them what standards are, how they work and, and how Etsy is trying to address some of their, in, of their business challenges. Because I do see a big disconnect between the bosses of the companies I visit and their standardisation delegates that come to committee meetings. There's a gulf actually between the top and the bottom. And I know some of you are probably fighting internally to convince your boss of the need to go to the standards body because it's important. And there is that gulf. I mean, I, it's not a frivolous matter, but I make light of it. But at least in my travels, this is exactly what I see because I visit a lot of CEOs, CXOs, and the story I get from them is out of alignment with the story I get from the standards delegates. And that's, I think, something where the, at least the Secretariat can help. In, in targeting some of these companies and going and talking to, uh, to the bosses. That's all I had to um, speak to you about this morning. Okay, thank you. Thank you.